So good morning, Global Science Show, um, little scientists. I thought it might be quite nice if you had an arts and craft activity to do in the morning before the Global Science Show starts at midday. Um, so I've got a few minutes this afternoon, so I thought I would um, film something. First time I've ever done this, so bear with me. There'll be lots of speeding up, as Marthy says. So happy Halloween, and let's do some bat crafting. You're going to need this template here from Wispot Bang magazine. Now I have spoken to Wispot Bang magazine and um, Marthy gets it on subscription. I know quite a lot of you do as well. Um, so you might have already made this already. Um, I have spoken to them and asked if I can use this and they've kindly said, yep, yeah, of course, no problem. So hopefully we should be able to share the um, downloadable that template which is here if not it's pretty easy for your as you can see if your parents or yourself um, to draw out the templates so you're going to need a template or draw it freehand you're also going to need some sort of crayon spell tips or something and some sticky tape double-sided probably some glue as you can tell I haven't actually made this yet so I'll be making it for the first time actually while I'm doing it um, a toilet roll tube kitchen roll or something some scissors, three pipe cleaners I think you need, and I've just chosen whatever colour, um, you know, I think in the actual uh, magazine um, they use black, but you can choose whatever colour, you can make a rainbow bat, couldn't you? Um, it says a drawing pin, but I've chosen to use a needle, um, and some thread, some googly eyes I've chosen. Now if you don't have googly eyes, don't go out and buy any just for this. Um, the actual Wispot Bang magazine one uh, shows just drawing the eyes on. And I think that's really nice, just to use a pen and draw the eyes on. But I've chosen a couple of googly eyes. And then you're also going to need some paper, card. I've chosen brown. You could have black, you could have whatever colour you want to. And in the Wispot Bang magazine, it uses um, bin liner. Uh, now I just had this, it's a, it gave us a really good excuse to eat crisps that actually were... Um, I won't do it because of branding, but we're, um, we're Halloween crisps that were supposed to be for Saturday. But it gave us a really good excuse to eat them today. So um, I used that and uh, ate them. And then we're going to use the actual inside of the crisp packet. I'm going to use that rather than a, um, you know, a bin bag, a rubbish bin bag. Okay, so let's get started. Um, there'll be lots of um and ahhing. Uh, like I said, this is not a professional thing this is just I thought I'd do it for fun so that you could do it in the morning uh, so the first thing that it says that you're going to need I'm not going to need that no is your um, toilet roll kitchen roll and you're going to need to cut it to about five centimeters um, I'm just going for an eye really so you could use a ruler if you want to five centimeters and then using your drawing pin or your skewer or whatever you've got to make a hole basically and um, you're going to make a couple of holes in it um, one centimeter up so again I'm just going to kind of gauge it from what I know to be a centimeter if you want to be very accurate you could use a ruler and you're going to make sure that you don't stab yourself as well so maybe you could get parents to help with this I think most of you are pretty competent and probably can manage by yourself. You could put some blue tack, that's the way that I used to do it with the kids at school. Put some blue tack there and then you can kind of like stab it, not have to worry too much about stabbing your fingers. Because we don't want that at the moment, do we? And actually I'm realising, because I've not practised this, realising they don't make, this doesn't make a very big hole. <laughs> so I might struggle with that. Um, and then you're going to take your pipe cleaner and there we go seem to remember it said that it probably could do with being about 18 centimeters long and you're going to put it through to create your um your legs so i think what they did is they just I'm realizing i probably should have practiced this before saying oh marthy it's okay you go and watch some tv and i'll go and film some bat crafty thing uh, right so you pop it through one hole and then, oh, it's def definitely one of these moments where Marthy's going, yeah, you can fast forward this, can't you? And there's me going, yeah, yeah, I can fast forward it, no problem. Really glad she's not actually sat next to me to laugh at me and critique at the moment. And she's just watching some, I don't know, some rubbish on TV. Right, so there are the 
legs of your bat. Okay, so step number two, I'll just put that to one side. Amazing so far, isn't it? Thank you very much. I can't even do here's what I made earlier. Um, you're going to need your body and your head templates, and then you're going to cut um, your head and your body out of a thick ish piece of card. Um, in the Wizpot Band magazine, as you can see, they used silver. So, kind of gone for a, a silver look. I'm going to go for a, a brownie bronze look. You can be really good and detailed and accurate about this by sticking this template onto your card and then cutting it out um, or paper clipping it or however it is that you want to do to be really accurate. I actually am just going to, because I'm rushing, I'm just going to kind of hold it together. And if you're used to cutting out, you'll be able to do this. If not, maybe you could draw around it or you could get mummy or daddy to draw around it. Or if you want to be really demanding and lazy, you could just ask mummy and daddy to cut these pieces out for you and have it pre-cut. Personally, that's what I might do. If Marty asked me to do that, I'd say no way. But you might get away with it. So, there we go. Let's get rid of those bits. So we have a head. Head? It kind of looks a bit like a fox's head as well, doesn't it? A fox's head, but it's not. It's a bat's head. With cute ears. A bat's head and a bat's body. Now in the magazine, it says that you can decorate it, paint it. You can really go to town with it, really, to be honest. You could, you know, do like loads of really cool kind of patterns on it. You could do different layers of different colours. You could put sequins on it. I mean, I think a sequin bat would be pretty cool, to be fair. Um, Pom-poms. I'd be quite tempted to put loads of pasta on it or something random like that. Or actually, no, me, I'd probably be tempted to go outside and fill it with acorns and bits of stick. But yeah, you could put whatever you want on it. So that's my body. And then my head. Like I said, I'm going to use some googly eyes. Now, I always seem to buy the ones. Your mummy and daddy will probably be laughing at me now. Because I always seem to buy the ones that don't seem to have the bit at the back that you pull off that's sticky. Because that would like be really helpful when it comes to googly eyes, especially when you've got loads and loads of kids round. Obviously not at the moment because of the virus, but when you've got loads of kids round and you're doing loads of arts and craft activities, which is quite common in our house. Um, and you go to have, you know, say six kids and you're all trying to put googly eyes on things. It's really helpful to have the ones um, that have the sticky at the back. But what I've realised is if you put a little bit of sticky double-sided tape and just cut it, kind of make a makeshift kind of you know, backing for it, she says, and then I'm not going to be able to get it off. There we go. And then just pull it off and pop it on. Okay, so now we have the head and the body of our bat. And we can glue this onto our toilet roll with the legs at the back here. And we just get some double-sided tape or glue, whatever it is you want to use. And just pop that, keep that a bit for later. Pop some tape on the front, like so. And just peel it off and stick the body on. Now, you could probably decorate this um, toilet roll, put some um, paper around it, or uh, you know, colour it in, whatever it is you want to do, paint it. Okay, so there's the body, and then the legs are coming out the back there. Okay, so we're just going to put that to one side. I'm going to leave the head, actually. So, put that to one side. And now, we're going to cut around our bin bag or our large crisp packet or whatever it is you want to use to recycle. So, 
So the idea of this is to make quite a few of them. It's not just to make one banner. It's to make, sorry, not to make one bat. It's to make kind of like a, a banner of bats. Um, so to make quite a few bats to then decorate and make a, a banner of bats. That's the idea. So as you can see, I'm making it really difficult for myself um, by not sticking it onto the, uh, sticking it on first or paper clipping it or blue tacking it or anything, you know, nothing like making life difficult. So as I do this, I'm just going to let you know a little bit about bats. So bats are flying um, mammals. Excuse me if you hear me coughing or sniffing, I've been a bit poorly, um, so I apologise for that. Um, yeah, so bats are flying mammals. There's about, well, there's more than 1,300 of them, uh, species, should I say. Um, they mostly feed on insects, and Martha really likes them because they gobble up loads of mosquitoes, and she really doesn't like mosquitoes. But I think that's because we just get nibbled by mosquitoes so much because we spend so much time in the woods. Um, but they also, they're really good pollinators. There's lots of foods that we wouldn't have if it wasn't for bats. Um, you know, they pollinate lots of different... Uh, fruits and um, they also eat um, they also eat fruits as well so now a particular species of bat that Marthy really likes is the vampire bat um, but it's incorrect that they suck blood um, they don't quite suck it they just kind of like make um, little grazes if you like so they have really sharp teeth which are capable of piercing um, an animal's skin, including our own as well, uh, without them even noticing. So I suppose like mosquitoes do, and you kind of generally don't notice it. And then once they've made all of these different little um, piercings um, on your skin, they just kind of lap, sit there and lap it up, take the, the blood that oozes out. And there you go. Right, so, uh, sorry, I was too busy chatting. So when you've um, when you've you put this template on and you've done it in a lot better way than I have, you then make these holes that they've got here. So using a template, just make the holes in your bin bag or your foil or whatever it is. I'm now realising perhaps why to use a bin bag and not foil because it's probably a lot easier to go through. So yeah, note to you. Perhaps use a bin bag rather than um, foil or rather than a crisp packet. Saying that, it is actually making the holes, it's just a little bit tough to make them. I'm not quite making them where they're supposed to go, but you know what? I'm sure it will be fine. With things like this, I'm never really very accurate to be fair. I'm trying to stay away from the edges purposely, actually, because I'm concerned that if I make them too close to the edge, it will split. So that's why I kind of kept in a little bit from the sides. So you'll understand why I was doing that. All right, so what you do now is you stick your wings to the back of your bat. Just like so, about there. Again, I'm going to use some double-sided sort of sticky tape because this is just my normal go-to really I really like it I think it's pretty handy so I'll just pop a couple of bits on there I'm not really bothered about where they go as long as it sticks on I don't really care so there's um there's three different species of um vampire bat that suck blood not just one but unfortunately, vampire bats can be quite dangerous because they can carry rabies. Not many of them, and we don't really need to worry about it in this country, but they can be quite can be quite dangerous. Okay, so let's just get that one there. So another interesting fact about bats is some of them can be quite solitary. Some of them are kind of like living on their own, and then others will want to live in caves with thousands and thousands and thousands of them and then while they're living in the caves and they're happy in the caves on the roof of the caves um cockroaches will be on the floor of the cave and um, scuttling along eating all of the um the bat poo so that's another interesting fact for you so we've um stuck the body onto the wings and we now need to just check in my uh, my instructions here Ah, 
Ah, okay. So we need to slide the legs through these little holes here. So we get the legs. And we're supposed to be able to slide them through. Actually, that worked better than I anticipated. Mm -hmm. Come on, back leg. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Go on. Should be self in there. There we go. It's through. It's a bit of a kinky leg, but it's it's through nonetheless. There we go. And then once they're through, you can kind of hook them back round again oh, without breaking it. I just broke mine. Never mind. You can kind of hook them back round again. And kind of make them into you know a little bit of a, a leg shape brilliant fantastic all right so the last couple of bits of this is we need to make the legs and the hooks so when you make your um your banner sorry excuse me when you make your banner and you put um you hang it up on your thread you can have maybe some hooks at the top um, or some sort of legs at the bottom to hang it off. So the way in which the uh, magazine sort of says that you should do that, or you could do that, is again using pipe cleaners, and it doesn't really matter what colour they are, um, you're going to need a couple of small pieces, about sort of four centimetres, something like that, a couple of small pieces, and then a couple of larger pieces that are more like kind of eight centimetres, again, something like that. And then the smaller pieces are going to go through the top holes in order to create sort of little hooks, thumbs, I think they've said in the magazine, to create the thumbs. And then the longer pieces are going to go in the bottom holes in order for you to help um, hang it upside down if you want to hang it upside down from your um, garland banner garland maybe garland might be is a garland American way of saying a banner I'm not sure so I'm gonna just roll it around tuck it in and then pop your other piece into the bottom bottom hole again sort of tuck it in roll it around so bats can live for about 20 years and um, some longer some a lot shorter shorter time and flying fox bats um they are they well they they're fruit bats basically they live on fruit they're the largest in the world they have a massive wingspan I can't remember what, what exactly it is. I think maybe it's six metres or something like that. You might want to Google it, double check it and get back to me if I'm wrong. So, there we go. We need the head. And I think your head, you can just pop on there. You could maybe even do like a little nose for it. Like a cute little nose. I don't know if Marthy was here. She would definitely want to do a little nose on it. So you know what I might do? So I have a sneaky suspicion that this bat is not going to live in my room. I have a sneaky suspicion it's probably going to live in Marthy's room along with copious amounts of other crafty things. So let's put it there and let's get a little felt tip pen. And let's make a little nose for it. There you go. Oh, now it definitely looks like a fox. Never mind. Maybe I shouldn't have done a nose. Oh, I don't know. Do you know what? I quite like it anyway. My favourite bat is the pipistrelle. That's only because I used to get quite a lot of those at work. I used to quite like seeing them and hearing them. Um, Marthy's favourite bat is a lesser, a lesser long nose one, I think. The one from the Squaro cactus. The one from the Nightflower book. She was introduced to that book and absolutely just loved it, loved that bat. 
So you then hang said bat off a bit of thread, a bit of string, whatever it is you want to use, a bit of yarn, make yourself a garland and then hang your bat however you'd like on it. So I'm going to hang it from the top bits just to show you. This is where I try and hang it up and I haven't got enough thumbs and fingers and it all goes wrong and falls apart. But let me just try. It's got a bit of character, this bat. I think it definitely looks like a fox. It's kind of a cross between a fox and a bat, so I think I'm going to have to call it a fox bat. With a little bit of persuasion, a bit of being a bit taut on there, it might actually hang quite nicely. You can't really see it, can you? No, that's not very helpful. There we go. I'll do, a, I'll do a proper little photo of him hanging. So there you go. There is your little bat garland, courtesy of Whiz Pop Bang magazine, an eco um, kind of craft activity, if you like, reusing things. You've reused your toilet roll or kitchen roll. You've reused your crisp packet or your bin liner. Um, and I'm, I'm sure as well, these little pieces of pipe cleaner, we always tend to have loads of little pieces at the bottom of the craft box. Um, again, you don't need to purchase any sort of plastic eyes. I just happen to have some, so I use some. Um, and you can make it as beautiful, a decorated, um, sort of on the front of it as you like, really. Paint it, do whatever you want. I'd quite like to get loads of sticks and get Marthy to sort of make sure measure them try and get them the, to be that size five centimeters and then put them all around i think that would be really quite nice um and i think i'd quite like to use sticks for the legs as well to be honest so um but yeah it's nice it's a nice little bat and um, my bat is going to be called oh i was going to say batty that's not very original is it my bat i call everything bob every squirrel that i ever see is always called bob so do you know what let's call him. I like a little bit of alliteration. Let's call him Bob. Bob the Bat. So from Bob the Bat and me, we're going to say goodbye. So goodbye from me and goodbye from Bob the Bat.